Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Hey, you, if you know me, you know that I hate onions. I won't eat onions, don't like onions, don't put an onion in front of me, uh, don't try to get me to like an onion. I'm just not gonna do it. It's just, they're, they're not something that, uh, that should be eaten by people, but I know many people like them. If you do, God bless you. Uh, one thing that I didn't know that I liked are Brussels sprouts. You ever tried a Brussels sprout, a little tiny looking things? And Sandy made some, I think she put it in a ton of butter, maybe boiled it in butter. I'm not sure exactly how she made it, but. I went, she, she's going to taste this. I go, no, I don't think I like them. Go taste it. I don't think I like them, taste it. I finally tasted it and went, wow. Again, I don't know if it was the butter or the Brussels sprout, but there was some combination there, the seasoning she put on it, plus the butter. And I ate that thing. I started eating more of them and go, wow, they're good. And she goes, yeah, they're good for you. They're healthy. And you need to eat more vegetables and the, and the whole thing. There's this great verse in the Bible that says, <clears throat> uh, start growing in God taken in the strong meat of God's word, now that you've tasted and seen that the Lord is good. Now that you've tasted and seen the Lord is good, start growing up in him. Start taking the real food that God has for you. <clears throat> and so many of us have not taken that step yet into our first 14 minutes. Taking the first 14 minutes a day and spending it with God, opening the Bible and just reading a little bit, letting it speak to you. A lot of us treat it like onions or like Brussels sprouts. And we go, oh man, that's going to be so bad. Oh, I just don't like it. Oh, I've got so many other things I'd rather do. My time, my energy, all this stuff. And I can take the first 14 minutes and, and you know, spend it in God's word. But let me encourage you. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And he says, now that you've tasted and seen, for those who have, you go, Molly, hello. Molly likes it today. Um, now that you've tasted and seen, then take that next step. Take that 14 minutes. Spend it with God. Maybe even taking five minutes, maybe to maybe a couple minutes. Take a little bit more and watch how God speaks to you. And then take the next step, all right? Share what God is sharing with you with the people around you. If you're married, share it with your spouse. Say, hey, I was reading in God's word today. I tasted, hi, Molly. Well, you can't see Molly, but she's over there coming and checking it out the video. But uh, to share it with the people around you. Hey, this is what God showed me today, and it was really good and they will start feeding off of you. They trust you, right? They've watched you, they've seen how you're growing, how you're maturing, and they may take a bite and taste the Lord as well and see that he's good. So let's try it today. Uh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Grow up in him so that you're strong and mature in Christ. Father, I thank you, God, that you are an amazing God, that you really are good. The enemy has told us our whole life how bad you are, and how much time it just wastes and all that stuff, but God, help me to change my thinking and and Lord, receive you. God, receive your word, receive your truth, receive your love and your life into my life. I pray that over my friends today, God, that each one of them would taste and see that you are a great God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you, Church in the Ridge. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's spend a little time with him and watch how we grow.